Tonight, WUSA 9 Special Assignment Unit is launching an unprecedented initiative to help veterans with invisible injuries. We want to tell you about the PAWS Act. It stands for Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members. If it becomes law, it would pair highly trained service dogs with veterans who have post-traumatic stress. The five-year, $10 million pilot program would begin next year in 2018, and funding would come from the Department of Veterans Affairs. SAU reporter Andrea McCarran, photojournalist John Moger, and our service dog in training, Nigel, take us behind the scenes on a week-long legislative journey. It's going to be really different, really unique. We're just documenting the process and a lot, a lot more than we ever would normally. You're taking a look live at the Memorial Bridge. Across the bridge is Arlington National Cemetery. The veteran suicide rate is still 20 a day. That is truly unacceptable, and I don't know how any of us can stand by and know that's happening without doing everything within our power to change that. Bill number HR 2327, Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members. It is a five-year pilot program, and it would pair a veteran suffering from severe post-traumatic stress with a service dog. And I did put a pistol in their mouth one night, and, uh, and I got, you know, about that close uh, to, to not being here anymore. And if it wasn't for uh, a fellow Marine who happened to knock on his door at the right time, he thinks he probably would have killed himself. I personally believe that it is a viable option for treatment because it has been so effective for me. He has night terrors as a result of his post-traumatic stress. She will wake him up by licking on his face. Um, she has given him an incredible sense of purpose. What really brings it home is when you get that message on Facebook from a veteran that says, you know, I got a service dog recently. I read about what you were doing. I just wanted to say thank you because without my dog, I would have killed myself. There you are looking at our United States Capitol. We're really excited. This is something we've never done before. Obviously, security, good morning. Uh, security is super tight on Capitol Hill. We're doing something kind of unique this morning. Not only are photojournalist John Moger and I um, setting up for a traditional interview in the Congressman's office, we are going to show you our interview live, and then the congressman stands ready to answer your specific questions. We are here in Congressman DeSantis' office in the Longworth Building on Capitol Hill. We're talking about the PAWS Act, Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members. I'm not saying this is going to solve the whole problem of veteran suicides, but I actually think it can really make a measurable difference. We're waiting for big studies that will completely document and authenticate it, but I've just met way too many veterans and know too many now for whom this has been a life-changing thing. I think the service dog is perfect. And I think we ought to give our veterans what they need to feel better about themselves and the world and to be productive members of our society. There's a psychological bond there between the dog and, and the veteran. It's unconditional love. At the end of the day, we'll be saving taxpayers money. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than a lifetime of narcotics and some of these guys are off the drugs cold turkey once they get their service dogs which is tremendous. Charlene Thompson says very proud of you. I'm not sure is that your mom or is that uh, <laughs> no I don't know if she's saying to us or to you but we thank well, you. Well it should Charlene. be should be to you guys too. I mean you're you're uh, helping publicize this and that's how these things get done. The bill is HR 2327 the PAWS Act puppies assisting wounded service members. Call your member of Congress today. What's that? That's the House is back in session. <laughs> House yeah. is back in session. We better let him go. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. It's effective in 2018. And, and John, I think that's the most important thing, really. Yeah, that's moving legislation faster than most anything ever moves around here. <laughs> exactly, so. exactly. What a week. Right? Wasn't that fun? That was fun. I really learned a lot. If you'd like to help veterans with invisible injuries get a life-changing service dog, contact your member of Congress to show your support for the PAWS Act. It's H.R. 2327, and again, it stands for Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members. We've posted a comprehensive list of lawmakers on our WUSA 9 website and app, along with information on how you can contact them. And we'll be following that.